Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is draw debug sphere. We'll run through a quick little example, and we get a debug sphere. We get a sphere that's drawn at a certain location, to certain dimensions and size, certain line lengths, etc. Everything to define a sphere in our debug format. So let's go ahead and look at our node itself. These are the default settings for our node, and we're going to go ahead and look at the properties. And these are pretty simple. Center is where is the center of our sphere. In this case, I'm drawing it 100 units above the top of that little box. Radius is how far around is that sphere. Now you notice our radius is 100 and it doesn't touch, it doesn't go through our box and it touches the top of it. Remember radius is basically the half distance from the center. So if we want our sphere to be 100 around, we need to make sure our radius is half of that. Segments is the number of segments for the sphere. Now let's set this to zero and hit play. And you're gonna notice something. You're gonna notice we don't have zero. By default, we're going to get four segments for our sphere. So zero to four gives us four, and five gives us five. And it's going to continue on like that. Now, what do I mean by five is, if we look in here, we see this edge, then this edge right here to this edge is one edge, or this point to this point is one edge, two edges, three edges, four edges, five edges. And then it connects all of these edges to the top for our sphere itself. And of course, the more segments you put in, the default is 12, the more sphere-like it looks, till you get to the point where you have, you know, a thousand of them and your computer just stops working because it's too many. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I probably shouldn't even have done that on video. I have no idea what just happened. Don't go with a high number. High numbers are bad for the computer. Drawing this many points generally causes issues. I wouldn't probably, I don't know, if you want a decent looking sphere, which isn't horrible, 25 is not bad, to be honest. But if you're just representing something, the default of 12 is, it's a sphere. You can tell it's a sphere. Color is the color of the lines. Duration is how long it's going to persist for. Zero being one frame. Anything above that is the number of seconds. And thickness is how thick the lines are. By default, the thickness of zero isn't bad. Usually the sphere is pretty dense so it's easy to tell. You can, of course, bump it up, and this will be basically how thick each line is. And that's it. That is our draw debug sphere node. It's useful if you need to draw debug spheres. Now, what I mean by that is, for the most part, you don't see collision on objects unless you show collision, and then when you show collision, it shows all the collisions. But maybe you just want to show your rolling ball or something like that that is a sphere for collision purposes, but you don't want to see it all the time, well, you can use your draw debug sphere just to debug it out. It takes in a center. This is the location where it starts the sphere at. The radius is how basically how round it is, but the radius again is half of the total circumference. The, the total width is your radius. Oh my gosh. The radius is half of your total width. So keep that in mind. Radius of 100 gives us a sphere of 200 around. Segments is how many line segments it's going to use to draw your sphere. Don't go very high. It's going to bog your computer down. Line color is the color of each line. Duration is how long each line persists for. In this case, zero is one frame. Anything above that is in seconds. And thickness is how thick your lines will be.